Bob saying today an airstrike killing Iran's top military commander was an effort to stop uh, was to was an effort to stop a war, not an effort to start one. Yeah, new at four, ABC's Trevor Alt brings us up to date. The American drone strike which killed top Iranian general Qasem Soleimani already sending shockwaves around the world. The U.S. now sending 3,500 additional troops to the Middle East as President Trump praises what he sees as a military victory. Last night at my direction, the United States military successfully executed a flawless precision strike that killed the number one terrorists anywhere in the world. One U.S. official and a source familiar with the matter telling ABC Soleimani was planning a series of attacks across Lebanon, Iraq, and Syria. In Washington, the president's supporters lauding the swift action to strike. The architect and chief engineer for the world's most active state sponsor of terrorism has been removed. But world leaders are now urging caution, some fearing further escalation. The attack taking place at Baghdad International Airport, home of U.S. ally Iraq, and also now drawing condemnation from their prime minister as a breach of his country's sovereignty. Iranians taking to the streets as their supreme leader vows severe revenge against the United States, perhaps turning the thousands of American troops and intelligence workers in the region into targets. And some Democrats upset they weren't involved in the decision to strike, now concerned about the consequences moving forward. This action may well have brought our nation closer to another endless war, exactly the kind of endless war the president promised he would not drag us into. A major question now is not if, but how Iran will respond, possibly by attacking oil tankers or ships like the country was accused of doing last year, by launching a cyber attack against the United States, or by trying to take down a prominent American military or diplomatic official in retribution. Trevor Ault, ABC News, New York.